And now the Hansons and Hiatus podcast with Nate and Alexis. Happy Friday, fuckers. It's another episode of Hansons on Hiatus. I'm your host, Nate. And this is my wife, Alexis. Hey, guys. How's it going? And it is episode number 37. Very nice. Yeah. Almost yeah. to 40. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm already there. It's okay. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> well, I know you're a little bit under the weather, so hopefully you can you can pull through this episode. <laughs> yeah, just a couple of snuffles. Hopefully yeah. they'll go away. Yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. sound even tinier than they normally do. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But yeah, if you'd like to support the podcast, buymeacoffee.com forward slash Hansons on hiatus. You can buy us a beer. Or a couple beers, or however many you want. But any anything you do, we appreciate it. We do, we appreciate. And it. don't forget to <laughs> like, subscribe, follow, share all that stuff on YouTube, Facebook, or well, I guess uh, Instagram yep. and uh, Spotify. Yeah. And then, as I was saying last episode, uh, we are on Google Podcasts now. Um, I haven't checked all the other ones. I think uh, iHeart. We're on the iHeart app, and I applied for some of the other ones. So hopefully, they're coming through. So if you listen on those. Um, or you traditionally listen on those, go ahead and search and see if you can find us and su- subscribe there. Yeah, you got a good handful of uh, platform options yes. to listen to us on <laughs> and view us. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's right, that's right. Well, um, this last week, and obviously yesterday was Thanksgiving. Um, we are recording this on Thanksgiving, so we really don't have much to talk about yet. Yeah. Um, so we're going to discuss what we've uh, done, been doing the last week with my buddy Frank and his girlfriend Sandra that had came in town uh, for Frank's birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Please come play on you, Frank. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah. Um, so we did kind of um, the routine. Mm-hmm. You know, he wanted to go to the island, uh, go to an, an island. Yep. Uh, so we went to Cozumel for a day. He wanted to do we one of the parks. So we did Eshkaret Park. Mm-hmm. And uh, he wanted to see some ruins. So, I mean, even though we, we ended up going to Chichen Itza, mm-hmm. and even though it's... Uh, like two and a half hours away. Yeah. That's like, and kind of touristy, but it's like the go-to one because it's the big one. Yeah, it's it's one of the seven wonders of the new world. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you got to see it when you're that close to it, I guess. And funny enough, um, they had never been to Mexico. I think um, uh, his girlfriend said that she was like came a cruise, to Mexico on a cruise, yeah, which didn't like really count. But Frank had never been, so yeah. we were excited to show your buddy around. Well, and he's super interested in. Uh, ancient civilizations and history and stuff just like i am here if you recall frank is one of the guys that we did our our egypt trip with uh yes. two years ago and then this year um he's one of my buddies that we did our whole european trip as well so yeah, so we're, one of your uh, travel buddies. yeah my travel bro <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, so yeah we'll just kind of talk about some of the the weird shit that happened while they're they're here um when we were coming back from cozumel <laughs> Um, we were on the ferry and it was, this was like the last ferry of the night or maybe the second to the last. And usually the night ferries, um, we'll sit on the roof and it's really nice cause the sun's, you know, has already set mm-hmm. and, uh, they're, pl- they play the music cause they have a band on board and people are usually drunk and singing oh, yeah. along and just, you know, chatterboxing it up. It's usually like quite lively and loud and cause everybody's been at Cozumel all day, you know, eating and drinking like we were too. So mm. yeah, it's usually like a party. You kind of. There's always something going on up there. Music, people dancing, yeah. laughing. And were we talking loudish? Sure. I mean, we're on a boat outside. There's a couple other hundred people out there talking, and there's a band playing. Yeah. So we're trying to hear each other. We're just sitting, you know, all four in a row in the middle of the boat on the roof with, right. you know, it's all seats up there. Mm-hmm. And you were to the uh, the far left, and there was a couple up run one row to the left as well mm-hmm. and what were they saying i could hear them talking shit the whole time <laughs> <laughs> what were they but saying i thought it was cute because i didn't think they would have the nerve to like say anything or do anything but they're sitting there like oh they're so loud or that's so annoying or, oh that's so rude we weren't talking about anything like disgusting or vulgar yeah. and i'm not a loud talker at all and i really don't appreciate loud talkers so i would have been like guys like we're being a little rude no nothing you know nothing of the sort they were they're were pissed off that we we're being loud and maybe the things we were saying but i don't remember us saying anything you know offensive. No. i feel like they were just uh maybe in a fight 
and yeah. they could like join together to both hate all of us. They look, yes. <laughs> you know, they're, they're like, we might be arguing right now, but we can both yeah. agree. Fuck those people. <laughs> yes. Neither of them looked happy. They both looked grumpy. So maybe they had a bad day on Cozumel and they were like, this is the final straw of all these touristy people and whatever. Yeah. Or maybe they're just tired or something. Yeah. But um, they finally said something to us, apparently, because yeah. I didn't hear all this going on that which you heard. And yeah. they just what did they did they shush us or tell us to keep it down? Yeah, or they actually can... shushed. And I think that's what got all our attention. And they said something to the effect like, you know, you guys are being loud. Like, can you keep it down or something like that? But they weren't even right in front of us because I, I know we've sat on that ferry a million times when people are right behind you and talking kind of right. loud. It, it's right behind your eardrum, so it does. But they were to the left of me. They weren't even right in front of yeah. me, so I don't know how they were so upset about us talking. Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea either. And they said something, you know, they said something about being loud, and I was kind of joking, and I was like, oh, can't talk outside in Mexico, yeah. apparently. You know, I was trying to kind of be a dick, but then also make it, like, lighthearted. But my buddy Frank, to my right, who, you know, we'd been drinking all day and stuff, and he has no problem telling somebody to go fuck themselves. No. So he kept on asking, oh, what did what did they say to us? Like, and, nothing. Uh, nothing. I was like, don't worry yeah. about it, because it would have just escalated from there. Yeah. And these people were, like, they weren't, they were, they looked like fucking nerds. I, yeah. mean, I hate to, like, stereotype them like no, that, they but they were. didn't look like, you know, a big Karen and a, or just some guy being a Ken. Yeah, Is it no. a Ken? A what do you? Ken. Is that what you call the... Or no, isn't it like a Dave or something? Or a Chad. Yeah, Chad. No, Chad's like the douche bros. I thought they said it was Dave. I don't know. I'm going to call him Ken. So they didn't look like a Karen and Ken. They just looked like they were in an argument and irritate. They could jointly hate us. Yes. Yeah, so... Yeah, pretty much like, like, can you be quiet or something like that? And he just... He said it like very nerdy. That's why I was like, it's fine. It's fine. Just calm. And then you guys were like, what are they saying? I was like, no, no, it's fine. Like, these people are not worth it like it's not worth it yeah like at all <laughs> and we're like we're not those people we don't want to start a fight or anything so no but yeah uh good luck with the rest of your mexican vacation good if you're luck. worried about people being too loud because it's loud here it's loud <laughs> everything after that like when we were getting off the ferry there's like a mariachi band on like the ferry port it was even louder off the boat so i'm sure they had a great time yes <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that was one of the things that happened on Cozumel. Um, we went to Eshkaret Park, and we there's these um, underground rivers that you can float through, and there's these different routes. There's like three different routes. I think you and I have only done two of them. Yeah. Because sometimes you know there'll be different ones will be closed to allow you know more or less people to go through. And for a while, we only thought there was one route. We didn't yeah, even realize yeah. there was two until they let us through, and we're like, "Ooh, this is yeah. spooky." Apparently, there's three because. Yeah. Uh, we all decided to go on the river, but it was like a little bit later in the day and you didn't want to go cause you thought it would be too cold. Cause it does get cold in the water in certain spots because of the caves. I mean, yeah. you're going through it's fresh water. It's consistently moving. So it's not sitting there like heating up from the sun. Usually I can deal with it, but I've been a baby lately. It's been a little chilly and I didn't want to get in. Yeah. So, um, so we went in and. I'll tell you what we did. Why don't you tell me what you did while you were doing this uh, or while we were on the river? Oh, yeah. So, like, <laughs> well, as soon as you guys got on the river, I was debating. I'm like, should I go back out by the lagoons and kind of, like, suntan or do my own thing? And I was like, no, you know what? I'm going to get showered up and changed, walk around. I've never walked around any of these parks by myself. It's always been with you or like a big group. So I was like, oh, I'm going to explore a little. I'm going to be a put my neat hat on and, yeah. and do my little adventure solo. So I go and I change and shower and everything. And as soon as I come out, it starts pouring. And I'm just thinking of you guys like, oh, no, I hope they're in the underground cave part. So you're not getting, you know, tramp. It was raining heavy out of nowhere everyone's running i ran under this little palapa across from the showers and i'm just under this palapa and then this nice little mexican family with like 30 kids comes under and everybody's just hanging out i'm like uh, okay stopped after you know it's probably a good 10 15 minutes yeah. um but then i just started walking around like um i heard some music so i went and looked in the front of the park and it was the female mariachi band which they are amazing. So I heard them. I went over and watched them for a while, took some video. And um, what else did I do? I got a little iced coffee. I saw some more animals. And I will say, when I went to go get a coffee, you know that little iced coffee stand we go to often? Um, they had uh, 
like there's this weird bag of Doritos there, like half full. And I'm like, oh, someone forgot their Doritos. That sucks. <laughs> they're going to need those later when they're hungry. And then I get my coffee. And next thing I know, I turn around. And I hear this lady like, ah, Quaddies, those little like ant eater monkey looking things. Yeah. They're like Mexican raccoons. We yeah. Call them. Mexican raccoons. <laughs> they're so cute. They make the little me. <laughs> little meat noises but they come out of nowhere they take that bag and they ripped it open like in two seconds and there's thousands of them wow. everywhere just everywhere and everybody's taking pictures then all these kids come around and they're taking pictures and stuff too they start trying to grab them and pet them and everybody's like no don't touch them they have rabies this and that and all these kids and i'm just recording like this is gonna be good <laughs> somebody's getting bit <laughs> the, the real question is are they nacho or cool ranch fans it was a uh, nacho oh, but i don't think they had a choice. makes sense mexico you know <laughs> <laughs> nacho cheese but they were going in and out of the trash cans they just i didn't see them all day and then boom they were just thousands of them hanging out there oh my god where did you go when it rained just uh across from the showers there was like where the map is of the park and that tiny little palapa that's what we were under who's we uh, me and that family oh, with shoot. their like 30 kids oh. <laughs> it, it, every size and shape kid and they're all looking at me like who are you <laughs> are you part of our family now <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious yeah but when it stopped i just started you know yeah. adventuring around so when we went to <laughs> to our side of the adventure yeah. so we went in, in, into the caves actually very warm this time oh, and i don't of yeah and i don't know if it's because of the rain or, or whatever but it felt it felt warm when we got in oh. and so we go down this different path that you and i had never done and this is the the one that goes by the manatee like enclosure oh, yeah, yeah. and so and also so there's these two amphitheaters here or, or there that, that are like not the giant one but they're they're just for like kind of smaller shows throughout the day it's it's like a it's sort of like an amusement park and they have dancers. And I think you saw them like um, rehearsing or something, right? Yeah, I heard them. Oh, I, I okay. kind of walked down to look at them. They have that cool church there, too. Mm -hmm. So I was walking down that way. And the main amphitheater, you could hear them in their practicing. So I just sat there for a little while and listened to yeah, the songs. Nice. Yeah. Well, these two amphitheaters are like caves. They're like built into the, the underground rock, basically. So there's a stage down at the bottom underneath the cave, kind of. And we've always noticed... One in front of the stage and uh, another amphitheater behind the stage, the river like flows through it. Yeah, and so, so cool. Yeah, so we never knew that like uh, you could float down that section. We just thought it was like part of the, the river, you know, going off to the side or yeah. something. Especially when it goes like right behind the shows. And yeah, you know, we're like, what the back, fuck? They're like, hi. Yeah, so <laughs> we're floating down and we come out or like, well, no, first of all, we go through this dark part of the cave where there's like no light. Eh. There's zero light. Eh. And as you know, like on the side of the cave, they have a rope so you can pull yourself along. Yeah. So I was up ahead of uh, Frank and his girlfriend and I'm uh, I'm like pulling myself along the rope and I notice it's really dark. So I go like almost underwater. I just leave my lips up oh, and, God. and I'm just holding on to the rope <laughs> and I wait till they're like right by me. And then I was like, ha, <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have flipped out. Yeah, I scared the shit out of him. <laughs> uh, and then, um, so then we get up to one of those amphitheaters. I was like, oh shit, this is where you go from, you know, the, the cave comes right in the middle, the back of the stage. Mm -hmm. And then you can go around left or right because yeah. like the water flows both ways. Um, so I start swimming to the left. And while, I mean, when we get up to the stage, all those people you heard practicing were there practicing. Oh, that's so awesome. they're these dancers, they're doing this choreographed dance and singing and dancing and everything. Yay. And uh, so I'm going off to the left and I'm ahead of the, the other two. And when I'm swimming that way, I'm like, I don't see where this goes. Like, it's very like it didn't I couldn't see. You know, it's I just dark. thought it was a cave or whatnot. Yeah. And one of the I look up to the stage because the dancers are literally right in front of me. And when the dancer had to like they all spun around and they were, you know, having their backs to where the crowd would be. Yeah. But looking at me, oh. uh, one like of the dancers it. looks at me and has a little uh, does a little arrow point with their fingers like <laughs> like go, like basically like go the other way. So, like, thank you. yeah, I was like, thank you, little dancer lady. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. She's like happens every day. Yep. Yep. And then um, then what do we do? We floated by uh, the manatees, which is really cool because they put like there's like a rock wall between the river and the manatee enclosure. Mm -hmm. And they put little like glass windows, I guess, basically. So you could see them underwater if you I didn't bring any snorkel gear, so I couldn't see them. But there was like holes in the rocks where you could see through and oh. you could see like the, the water line. Yeah. And all of a sudden you'd see this and oh. these two little nostrils come up and like <laughs> and sniffing around. <laughs> so that was pretty They're cool. So cute. 
Oh, we saw some crabs. We saw what else did we see? Um, oh, we saw the Kawadi as well. They were all crossing from one side of the river to the other over oh these trees. Just little babies. Me, 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 me. There were a lot of babies. Mm-hmm. It must have been baby season. Yep. Um, yeah. So that was uh, that so was funny. it for our river adventure. But <laughs> when it was raining, we were in the in the underground cave part, so we didn't even know it was raining. Perfect timing because yeah. it poured. Worked out good. <laughs> Uh, and then I think one of the other things that happened at Eshkaret was uh, we went to that that horse show. It was like the Mexican cowboy show where yeah, they, they do the lassoing and, all, you know, the horses do the little. I'm not a horse guy, so I don't really know what they have, like the different stand, yeah, something. steps and different things and stuff. So really cool. But they're the table in front of us are all like locals. And this drunk Mexican woman was just. Ah, oh, Viva Mexico. Every like, two seconds. Viva, Viva Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which were like, great, but I thought maybe they knew, you know, the the rodeo guys. I thought maybe they knew a couple of them. No, she was equally supportive to all of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, and then after the show, one of them came over on, on their horse. So, yeah. like, some people wanted to take pictures with him. And so she goes over and she's like petting the horse or whatever and then talking to the guy mm-hmm. and the guy like re- leans down and gives her a hug and she just kept on hanging out on the horse. And so this other lady was over there trying to get a photo with the guy and the horse. And so she's like has her hand on the horse's like neck or whatever up by its head and yeah. her husband's taking the photo. This lady's still in the photo. Yeah. The other one, the drunk lady. We're like, ah, oh. hang out, just in the back. <laughs> so this li- this woman has a photo. I wish I had video of this. This definitely would have been one of our headliner videos because <laughs> She like she stood there while this other woman was getting a photo like so she's in her photo and then this family comes over and has a little baby oh. and sets it up like on the the railing right yeah. right in front of the horses. So, you know, the little baby could have a picture Take with a the picture. with the um the horse, the horse guy. Yeah. What are they called? Uh, cowboy? Mexican nah, cowboy? Nah, there's some name. It's like it's not. Ah, I can't think of it. Anyway. Rodeo man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is it. It is rodeo man. Horse man. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, so. They want like a cute little picture with their yeah. baby. This woman's still standing there oh my God. <laughs> holding their baby on the other. So the mother is on one side holding the back and the, you know, on the arm and trying to get a picture. Yeah. This drunk fucking bitch is over there holding the baby as well and putting uh, putting her hand like on on the other shoulder <laughs> like they were doing a group photo. And so I'm like, oh, maybe they know each other. Nope. nope. They walked off afterwards and then she went back and sat down at the table screaming Viva, Viva Mexico. Yeah. And, like, dude, what the fuck? Like, they, you just ruined that woman's baby picture. Like, I know. They uh, look just as as confused as us. We're sitting there eating, like, in disbelief. Like, what is happening yeah. right now? <laughs> um, let's see. What else do I got on here? Oh, we went to brunch for uh, Frank's birthday. And on his birthday. On his actual birthday. Yep. <laughs> it was the 19th, right? Yeah, the 19th. Whatever that Sunday was. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so we had other friends there. Also for one of our buddy Jeremy's birthday. Yes. And so they were doing the same thing. They're doing brunch. We just couldn't fit at the same table because we had a bunch of people. Yeah. Uh, so we were, we were kind of late too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so we're sitting there and he comes over to say, Hey, how's it going? And we're like, I heard, you know, it's your birthday too, to my friend, Frank. Yeah. These guys don't know each other. Nope. He's from Boston. Frank is from Venezuela. Yep. And, uh, he was like, when's your birthday? And he's like, it is actually today. And he's like, me too. And he's like, what year? And they were like 80, uh, Frank was like 82 and he goes, me too. Oh Both born the same day, the same year. And he goes, what time? And, uh, Jeremy goes 11 AM and Frank goes, shut the fuck up. I know. 11 AM. They were born on the same time, the same day, the, like the same year, like everything, just like different countries. Yeah. Just different countries. <laughs> But I was like, what are the chances of that? So. I know. We were all like, and it was so funny because I remember Jeremy had said 11 a.m., but Frank, we asked him like one of the other days, like, what time were you born? Yeah. Oh, it was like it, the night before. Yeah. Because we like wondered midnight. when to celebrate it. Yeah. yeah. We're like, is it technically your birthday now? Or he's like, nope, a few more hours till I'm born. So as soon as he said 11 a.m., we're all like, what? Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, super funny. So small world, um, small world. But um, oh, another thing that happened when we were in Cozumel. You know, we rent the car and drive around the island and hit the bars and everything and get, get all the margs. And we we're coming back around to the the west side of the island. And our friend Wanda was in town and she was at a bar with uh, one of her friends. And we we're like, oh, we'll pick you up. So we go and we stop, uh, or we see her outside, like mm-hmm. coming to and. We thought we were picking her up. Yeah. She just came to say hi, apparently. Yeah. So we pull over like on, you know, somewhat of a busy road. And yeah. so we kind of pull over to the shoulder and I'm talking to her in the driver's seat and, you know, you guys are in the back and or Frank was next to me and then you and and the girlfriend were in the back. Yep. 
And so uh, I'm talking to Wanda, and then all of a sudden, or when she leaves, she's like, all right, see you guys later, because we're, we're going to go meet at the next bar. I guess she had a transportation or something. Yeah. And I was like, all right. And so I'm looking, because the traffic's kind of busy, so I'm looking out of the side view mirror, and I'm waiting for my spot to jump in. Yeah. And I'm just like, boom, just gun it. And then we hear, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and what had happened? Oh, my God. You left the girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. She had just got out of the car, too. To like, um, I think she's getting the cooler in the trunk or something. What, something she something needed. out of the cooler. Something yeah. out of the trunk or whatever. And then just you just speed off and we're looking back. She's standing there like, Whoop. yeah. <laughs> and I didn't go that far. No, and, no. And, uh, I love both of them, but they were acting like <laughs> she was in front of the car. They acted she, like you ran her. Over. Yeah, they're like, oh my god, she almost died. And I was like, <laughs> she was just standing behind the car, and I drove away. Like yeah. it was. It, was it funny? Yes. Was yes. it? dangerous i maybe i don't know i guess if the trunk would have came down and like hit her or something yeah but i don't think any of that happened i but, think it was best case scenario of what could have happened. yeah totally so i felt horrible and i apologized but, profusely but i don't think she was in any actual danger, danger i loved but, all you know. weekend though it was the joke like oh we're gonna go do this don't leave me nate yeah. don't leave me yeah i was like ha, ha, ha. <laughs> i was like yeah nate so, would never leave anyone i know i felt bad purpose. i felt bad um <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> it's happened before. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, also on Cozumel, so we always go to this abandoned bar yep. on the east side of Cozumel uh, because we can just grab a couple beers, go there, hang out at this abandoned place where you and I used to go and we've eaten before. Yeah, and it's a cool view. Yeah. There's like people tag, you know, artwork on the on the walls. There's little iguanas running around. It's like a cool little beach to just. Kind of stop. Yeah. Well, so the staircase that used to just like go down into the ocean has separated from the building now. And uh, and Frank's girlfriend was down there uh, taking some selfies or something. Yeah. And we were uh, up uh, like on the main platform, just kind of dicking around. Frank and I were like spraying beer on each other because yeah. we were just, you know, we had a couple. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so he's she's down there taking a selfie. Yeah. And Frank sprays beer on her. And she was like, ah, and then goes to try to um, get out of the spray. And the stairs had a little bit of like algae stuff on them. Slips in the water. Ugh. Yeah. We knew it. We were like, don't go down there. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. And she was fine taking her pictures. But then all of a sudden, just whoop, it, <laughs> it goes in. Her sandals are floating away. <laughs> she falls again. She drops the phone. Oh I mean, the phone landed on the, the staircase. Yeah, Frank so goes bad. to like hero save the day. Yes. We're and, like, help her. Yeah. Save her. <laughs> yeah. So he goes down again, slips again, but. Um, yeah, she made it out alive. They, I think they both were in the water and then they finally got out. It was a whole thing. We're like, we're losing her. Yeah. <laughs> shoes are Aquaman, go get him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, we told you not to go down there. <laughs> no, oh, shoot. So, but she, she was okay. She was okay. Yeah. And the phone was okay. That was the most important. The and, phone was okay. and I think the sandals floated back. So they did. We got the flip flops back and the phone. It was a, yeah. it was a win-win. Yeah. Never leave a chunklo behind. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Chunklas. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, that was kind of, I mean, the major things that happened. You know, like I said, we went out to Chichen Itza. We did the cenote out there. That was great. Um, but, you know, this weekend, uh, obviously, you know, Thanksgiving yesterday, we just decided to kind of do our own thing, which is what we normally do. Yeah. Like, since we've, I mean, even since we moved to Georgia, I mean, sometimes we go over to Jason's for Thanksgiving, but we kind of got and we like the things we have similar, similar, similar uh, family (laughs) traditions, like of the same types of foods that we eat. You know, sometimes you go to somebody's house for Thanksgiving and you're like, oh, that's what you guys eat. Yeah. Or like, oh, you're being fancy now. Like, I don't need the fancy stuff. I want the cranberry in a can i want like you know i, I want my certain things stovetop stuffing i want the yeah. crap stuff <laughs> yeah so like we typically do as we did uh or that we're doing today uh or technically yesterday yeah. um <laughs> is uh green bean casserole uh in the air fryer pumpkin pie air fryer mm-hmm. uh i'm making some mashed potatoes um jelly cranberry yeah. and what else that. rolls and um and Typically, since we don't have like an oven, we we use the air fryer. We don't we can't make like a turkey because it's too small. So we just get yeah. like a rotisserie chicken. Basically. Yeah, we have yet to find a, a smaller turkey or like a turkey breast or something. So we usually get a rotisserie chicken. Yeah, yeah. but I, I will say there are some perks about celebrating um, 
Thanksgiving in Mexico. Oh, one, tell me. They don't celebrate it. Yeah. So <laughs> nothing is closed. Yeah. You know, the grocery stores are open. If you forgot something you need for a recipe, you can just pop on over there. Yeah. And um, the traffic usually isn't bad because it's not like, well, I will say that the influx of tourists is, tourism is a little bit more yeah. because people come for Thanksgiving. The airport's like, been crazy lately. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I haven't felt like the roads were like super busy or anything like yeah. it would be on like a Mexican holiday. Right. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't know, like we got invited to our friends They're they're doing like a catering event and it's mm-hmm. going to be a big thing or whatever. And while I love to just go hang out with people at, at the pool and do things like that, I like to cook and I think they are catering some of it. So I'm like, I want to make like the dishes that we want right. and then have all the leftovers. You can make the sandwiches after. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, so that's your love language, like cooking and feeding. You love to do that. So I'm not I'm never going to take that away from you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I just, and I love to eat. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just like that. That's my Thanksgiving in my head, even though like I used to, you know, we go to my grandparents or yeah. this person, or that person. I like to sit at home and do nothing. Yeah. You drink all day while you're cooking and then you Watching take a nap football. and watch football in the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Yes. And we go yeah. up to the pool here, you know, because it's usually nice. So we like to do our own thing. We usually have a whole day of stuff going on. So, yeah. So, Good yeah, so that. that's what we did. And then today, uh, Friday, we are doing, uh, we're going to the Interplaya match, uh, the football match. Football match. Which we've just grown to love over the last couple months. Yeah. You know, like, we were always trying to go last year. We just never knew when the games are. Now we figured them out. Yeah. And it's great. They're free to get in. You can bring your own beer. Yeah. You can buy beer there. You, I mean, we pregame at a bar, bar like next door. So it's and been they're, fun. They're fun. Great soccer players. Great. They're a fan, you know, section. Uh, they're real fans because these they're... aren't like million dollar athletes. Yeah. They're, they're doing it for the love of the game. Yes. And it makes me their fan section makes me think of um, or supporter section. Sorry. It makes me think of um, like uh, Atlanta United or mm. even Orlando. On a smaller scale. Yeah, but yeah, much smaller scale. But they are rowdy and they have one of those big horns and like the drums and everything and all their flags. And it's so fun. You just oh, yeah. get into it. Well, and like, then oh. the horn on the air compressor yes, is that's insane. What it is. The yes. dude just literally has a little button. He's like, meh, 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 meh. I watch him the whole time. Meh, 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 <laughs> yeah. meh. What a job. What a job. What I a guy. Did. What a guy. <laughs> Um, and then tomorrow we are uh, going to Jazz Fest. There's a That's like, a new one. yeah, I, there's been this world renowned jazz festival in Playa del Carmen for the last 20 years, and they didn't have it the last two years, I think. Well, two years during the pandemic, they didn't have it. And then yeah. last year, they didn't have it because they didn't have the funding for it. Ah. Um, but now it's back. Oh, gosh. So it's um, back, I'm not like <laughs> a huge jazz fan, but it's like a festival y type thing that we can do here. And yeah. Um, you Any know, reason why to not? like uh, day drink and eat some different yeah, and foods it's free. and listen to fun music. Just sit on the beach and listen to some jazz, probably smoke some weed and hang out. Yeah. So, we used so to nice little to, Saturday. Nice little Saturday. We would do that a lot in um, when I lived in Pittsburgh and Columbus, Ohio. Big. It was always jazz and rib fest. So Ooh. it was like you went for both pretty much. You're going for the ribs, you get the jazz or whatever. Those don't seem like they go together. I know. It was always so weird, like rib and, rib and jazz fest. So, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe they do. I don't know. Like, I mean, not to be stereotypical, but a lot of the best barbecuers are black guys, and a lot of uh, black guys are, are jazz like fans. Yeah, you know? lots of soul, lots of um, southern, uh, soul cooking and <laughs> yeah. <music. laughs> when we usually We go to that jazz brunch sometimes. I don't we like do. the music there. I like it. Yeah, so I don't, but I, I guess I don't listen to a ton of jazz, so I can't. It always seems very like mellow and kind of sleepy to me. But yeah. I'm sure we're gonna go there and just be blown away. I think it's a lot of uh, people that love jazz. It's maybe more so musicians, um, and we're not musicians. We mm-hmm. love music. True. I love all kinds of music, but um, maybe that's why we're not like you know fully invested in it. But yeah. maybe this jazz fest will change our minds. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, speaking of, uh, we're going to get to a couple listener questions before we get out of here. And uh, Brian asked us on Instagram, are there any good concerts around us? Which so funny enough, yes, if, if you are a jazz fan, yes. there's this great, and it's also funny because some of these bands, I'm like, there's no way anybody has heard of these people. And I like, what well, wasn't, it wasn't Skinny Puppy. It was like Snarky Puppy or some snarky shit. Snarky Puppy, yeah. Yeah. So we, I was like, who is this? So I go look them up and they have like a half a million followers. Yeah. I was like, okay, maybe they're a big deal. Maybe, maybe. I did, I'm unaware. Yeah, maybe we should know them. <laughs> yeah, so um, concerts around us, nothing like 
the U.S. So nothing like when we lived in Orlando or Atlanta with all the venues and all the there. There's definitely music. Yeah. But if you're talking about like like big name. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, like huge concerts and festivals and stuff yeah. they have. And we've talked about this before. I think at, up at the Moon Palace in near Cancun, mm-hmm. they have like. Luke Bryan's Crash My Playa. They had like Hootie Fest. They have all these different festivals, but you have to buy uh, like four days at the all inclusive with the ticket. You can't just buy it. Like I can't just go up there and yeah. go to the concert. You have yeah, to pay. Stay. It starts at like twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> I was like, fuck that shit. So um, some people will uh, rent out a private boat and go out in the ocean and watch it because the concerts are on the beach. Yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, we have this jazz fest, I guess, is a big thing for for Playa. Um Seems we, like all the real big music festivals are in like Mexico City. Mm-hmm. They're in like the bigger areas. Yeah, and, but we don't even get like we don't have like a venue really for like a you know an A list celebrity with yeah. like a ton of fall. like we don't have like a sixty thousand seat stadium in Playa right. in, like Cancun for sure. But um, so we don't really have like a lot of places for them to come here. So mm-hmm. uh, I think I saw Guns N' Roses came to Merida. Oh. Which is me, like Shocking. two hours from us. Um, but yeah, wasn't the, like Black Eyed Peas here or in Cancun? Yeah, oh yeah, they went something. to Cancun. Oh, okay. um, I think. Oh, what was the other one? Oh, John Mayer or uh, oh. who's oh, he? The, um, um, Dead, the and Company. Dead and Company. They yeah. were supposed to come, but I think John Mayer got COVID. This was like a year or two ago. Yeah, he got sick. Um, but other than that, no, we don't have like a lot of big festivals or concerts. We miss concerts. Yeah, you either have, like I said, you have to pay for this like all inclusive shit, or you got to go to a bigger city that has a bigger venue. So yeah, yeah it's a little sad. We definitely miss concerts, but i saved a lot of money. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good question. Um, and here's the last one from Brian. Uh, actually I have another one, but I'll answer it next week. Cause it might take a minute. Yeah. Um, but this, uh, this last one, do you plan on moving back one day? Huh. Um, short answer. We don't really know. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I would is. say probably more than likely because our family's there. So I would think we assume maybe like when our if our parents, you know, get older and they need help, you know, move into a smaller house or something and they need help packing up, we might move back for a few months to help them move into, you know, a lot of parents grow up in the like we grow up in a in a family home. Yeah, yeah. And then when the, the kids grow up and, and move out, then they're stuck in like a three, four bedroom house by themselves with yeah. stairs and everything. So a lot of parents, when they get older, they, they downsize into like a condo or a townhouse or something like that. So I assume that'll happen at some point. Yeah. We're trying to, we're trying to push that sooner than earlier. Cause your guys' childhood home is, it's a, it's a big old house. Mm-hmm. It's a, you know, you don't really need it. It's just them two. And, Lots of stairs. I'm like, you don't want these stairs when you get into late yeah, 70s. Yeah, I just 90s. worry about, you know, and it's not just like, oh, one staircase. There's like stairs that go up from the basement to the, the main level. And then there's like a, a split stair. And then it has a couple turns that goes up yeah. to like the the bedroom level, I guess. Yeah. So uh, I just worry about my parents, you know, when they're in their 80s and 90s trying to go up those stairs. So my dad doesn't want to move, but. Uh, we would love for you to be in a little safer place. I think we'll eventually <laughs> Not now. Him. I mean, he's yeah. he's fine now, yes. but I'm just thinking for the future. Yeah, for the future. And you don't want to like be doing that with your parents when they're in their 80s or 90s because they can't help. <laughs> you know, yeah. like they can't help tell you this is what this. I mean, they can tell you, but like they can't, you know, help physically help. physically help. Yeah, yeah. We always said we would move back. It would have to be like um, a job. Yeah, which would or if it's a famous. good job that's paying like stupid amount of money. You know. Well, yeah, or just, you know, good good money. Then, yeah. Then we always said that, like, a job kind of aspect or family. That's what yeah. would probably break us to get out of here. Or, I mean, you never know. Something well, else. yeah, but, I mean, uh, money and happiness and stuff is, is definitely a part of it. That's, like, I mean, to be totally honest, that's one of the, even though, like, our main reason for staying here and not moving to California with the rest of the podcast and the mm-hmm. show was we just love where we were at and we we're really happy here. Yeah. But money was part of it. You know, it's, yeah. it would have cost a lot for us to buy cars and get health insurance again and move, you know, and buy all these new things because we sold everything before we left. Everything. And, we have, like, and just the, the salary, while it was nice, it wasn't enough to, you know, to make live in California. You know? <laughs> yeah, to make that move again, to buy all those things we would need and to live in California. Yeah, we'd be starting age. off in the hole and... Yeah. You know, and I think at the time there was like some kind of like floodings and yeah. storms going on. We're like, and why do we want to move 
things coming yeah. from here. I just think we were just, you know, we're, we're very happy here. And we both came from kind of like a corporate style work life situation. And once we got here, we noticed how much happier we were and the right. anxiety and the stress went down. We might not be making as much money as we used to, but I tell you, we're a le- heck of a lot happier. Yeah. Here. that And just that's the general consensus of everyone. I mean, yeah. I don't feel like everyone that lives here has this like massive savings and they're like grinding to the bone to, yeah. to plan 100% for the future. They're kind of living in the moment. Right. And it makes you realize you can do that. Like, yeah. obviously, you should be worried and prepare yourself for when you get older. For sure. But I think the U.S. makes you stress about that too much where people here are just living their lives and people in the U.S. are living their lives for the future of their lives yeah. rather than just enjoying what is going on right now. Right. You know, so. well, we're probably uh, in the middle of this. Of this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're like we're money conscious, but then we're also like. Living, for, li- living now for the now yeah. conscious as well. So that's, that's it. Living yeah. for the now. Yeah. So <laughs> so we probably will at some point, but we got no real plans and you know yeah things like that. So yeah. yeah. But good, anyway, good well, question. yeah, very good question, Brian. Thank you. We appreciate it. Uh, I just want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Yes, happy, <laughs> yes, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and be careful out there if you're going out on Black Friday. Don't stab anyone. Be, we, it's not worth a TV, bro. It's no. not worth it. Be careful. Don't get stabbed yourself. <laughs> yep. um, but yeah, support the podcast. Buymeacoffee.com forward slash Hanson's on hiatus. Uh, follow, like, subscribe, Spotify, YouTube, all the things. Oh, I, I forgot to mention earlier, if you do listen on another platform like Google Podcasts or Apple Music or anything like that, the video portion of this is only available on YouTube and on Spotify. Right. Um, and I know one of the things that we kind of never really got on YouTube previously was because um, – I don't like when you close YouTube, the video stops. Oh, yeah. Um, I think you can stop that by, like, sub- subscribing to, like, YouTube Red or Premium or whatever. Yeah. But as far as I know, um, Spotify doesn't do that. Like, oh. if you minimize it, like, uh-huh. you can watch it on video. Like, I watch, like, I'll watch, like, Joe Rogan on the treadmill when I'm at the gym on video. But then I can close my sc- or turn off my screen, put my phone in my pocket and then go do another exercise and I can still hear it at Listen, least. Yeah. yeah. But I think YouTube stops that. And if there, if I'm wrong and there's a way around that, please let me know. Cause I've not figured it out yet. I'm sure there's a way. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Um, Maybe. but anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a great safe rest of your weekend. Mm-hmm. Happy Friday fuckers. Happy Friday fuckies. That's it. Thanks for listening. Goodbye for now. Bye.